Sub 300 possible within 10 years. Who knows at this point. I played like an hour and a half of Mario 35 last night. It was okay, but I kind of got bored of it quick. I didn't actually play Tetris 99, so don't really have a comparison for that. It seems like when it gets to top 5, it just gets so slow. Like after top 5... Dude, this is so annoying to practice. When it gets to top 5, it's just like... What do you even do? It's just don't die. I mean, I guess that's the whole thing is just don't die, but I don't know. I played I played a game last night where between top five and second, I didn't win, but I got second. But like between when it got to top five and when I finally died at second, it was like, I swear it was like 10 minutes. And it was just like, dude, when is this going to end? But yeah, it was it was fun for like an hour and then don't really feel like playing it anymore. Yeah, the difficulty seems like an issue because like when I was doing well, it was just get Fire Flower and spam Fire Flower, and that's just kinda it. It just felt like spam Fire Flower was just the best option. Yeah, or Star, I guess. Yeah, the fact that you have to like play 1-1, one, one, it's like you play 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, like half the time. Like, I don't think I ever got a stage farther than like 4 or something. Is that, is that like a, what's the deal with playing farther levels in the game? I don't get it. Is it just like, because it doesn't seem like it's just beat as many levels as possible because it seems like you get warped back a lot. I don't really get it. Is it really just too hard for casuals? Do they just keep it to the easier levels on purpose? I hope that's not, that's not it. It's not a thing if you're a bad player, right? Like if I, if I don't get farther into the levels, does that mean I'm bad? I mean, I am bad, but you have to unlock later levels. Okay, yeah, I don't really get the unlocking process, I guess. Depends on what people choose before you enter the lobby. Okay, yeah, I was really confused about that because it seemed like whenever I started, I, like I tried choosing different levels, but I always started on the same one. It, it, it always started on 1-1. One, one. So like, I didn't really get what choosing a different level did, unless it's like, is it the first level you go to when you beat 1-1 one, one, or what? Because I, I just didn't get it. Oh, it adds to the pool of levels. Okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah, but yeah, so I guess my overall opinion of Mario 35 is it was okay, but I'm probably not going to play it anymore. Got a whole hour and a half out of it, and I guess I'm good. Have I spent more this year routing than running? Yes. Uh... I have, so the total time I have actually been running 100% this year, I ran the most recent hundo route for about a month and a half. I ran the route before that for, I think two weeks, maybe three weeks. And I guess like also two weeks or something on faster quests. And that's the entire amount of hundo I've run this year. I actually wonder if like all the categories I've run combined, I wonder if I've spent more time on routing or running. So I'm really not sure because Beginning of the year was, very, very beginning of the year was NSR for GDQ, and then after GDQ was NSR with Ace, or no, with SRM, and then it was any percent with Ace, no, NSR with SRM, then any percent with Ace, then NSR with Ace, then I think it was like swapping back and forth between any percent and NSR with Ace, and then I was learning Hundo with SRM, for, with pot chest and I never did a run of it because literally days before I was about to start doing runs with pot chest butterfly stuff was found and then butterfly stuff routing forever and then animal crossing that's not it that's not crash Oof. that's one angle one angle off I believe it takes me somewhere interesting anyway Pues usan escudo, presionan B, 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 y entre las veces que presionan B, presionan el botón A para que el link te a leerlo y lo tire. Not that interesting. I'm secretly British. You found me. You've discovered my secret. A Brit couldn't deal with Arizona heat. True. What speedrunner has done the most SRMs? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's me, just because... I've pretty much been running SRM based categories since SRM was found and I think most people are either not running SRM categories or have bounced between SRM and no SRM categories. 
So I think there's a good chance that I've done the most SRM runs, but I wouldn't say for sure. Actually, just the fact that I've spent so much time not running and just doing routing and stuff, just because of how messy everything has been with SRM routing and stuff, that alone could hurt my total number of SRM runs or something. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, yeah, it, it depends on how you want to compare them. Like, Danny's any percent versus my... I mean, I have run any percent too, just not nearly as much. But then, like, if you're just counting attempts, then there's a good chance Danny has it just because my attempts have mostly been for stuff like Hundo, where the average Hundo attempt is, you know, at least 30 minutes long, maybe. Where the average any percent attempt is probably like five, not even five. So just strictly on number of attempts, Danny probably has it. Plus, again, the fact that I've spent so much time on routing. But then if you were to instead base it on number of actual SRMs done, uh, then I think it may be more in my favor. I do it again, dude. I don't know, it really depends on how you want to measure it, and it's a stupid question anyway. Well, it's like a fun question to think about, but like obviously a meaningless one. How many mics have I gone through? I want to say like four. Yeah, I keep yelling into my mics too loud and it keeps breaking them. I really gotta control my volume more. Stop breaking my mics. No, I'm not waiting on Hundo Reroute. I will also be working on Hundo Reroute. I just also want to do AD, which also gets a reroute. Cutscene crashes. Yeah, the definition is step into all the blue warps and obtain the medallion or stone from the blue warps and then get to the credits. Hope I'm having heaps of fun. I sure am. Oh no. Dude, that's so hard to get the backup. I got the hard container. Yeah, that's F. That's run over. The white's that long for child dungeons, for the child blue warps. Why I know do rando while wait for the new route? Because I'm not gonna wait for the new route, I'm also going to run the new- er, also going to work on the new route, but also all dungeons has a new route, and I also like all dungeons. I will do both. Sounded very angry? Dude, it's annoying. People keep asking, what happened with Hondo? Why did you quit Hondo? Couldn't tell if that angle was right because the triangle was like there's like a certain position where the triangle can look identical for two different angles and it's hard to tell the difference and I got that. I'm 90% sure my position was fine. I'm fairly sure if I failed anything it was the rock drop. Hey my sum of best and my PB are inverted numbers. PB 3735 and sum of best 3537. Isn't that interesting? Oh yeah, some of best is hidden right now, but best, best best possible time is the same at the beginning of the run. I wonder how many people actually buy ViewBots. It, it's always seemed to me like something that everyone just laughs about and no one actually does, but I'm sure there must be people that actually do it right. But like, how many? Who in here is a ViewBot or purchases ViewBots? How much do they even cost? What's the ViewBot economy like? $80 for a hundred an hour for 30 days? That seems ridiculous. That's That seems way too high. I need a much better deal on ViewBots if I'm gonna check it out as a ripoff. Dude, are you serious? Can I do quick kill? Yes. Oh, this looks good. No? Okay. Okay. This run does not have Dampe. Does have Twinrova though, and Serenade, which are the next closest thing. Thanks for little months, Shigeru Miyamoto Uwu. Don't get too excited yet. Run's not over. Nice. A little slow in the end. 
That was actually mostly a pretty good run, except for setting up the glitch grotto part, which was so bad because I accidentally left Lost Woods after accidentally getting a fess. That was so bad. Otherwise, pretty good run. Thanks, guys. Speech. I went fast. Goal time. Uh, hard to say for sure goal time. Uh, so goal time. 35 is definitely possible, but probably really hard. Although at the same time, if I just didn't accidentally fess out of Lost Woods on the Glitch Grotto, this would be like a 36-10, which wouldn't be that far off. I don't know, maybe I should go for 35? Uh, some of best is, uh, 35-25. 35-25, some of best. Button presses, sure, let's check the button presses for this run. Very, very low compared to, uh, compared to Hundo. Only 1200 A presses. Really? Near 100 start presses? How do I get near 100 start presses? I don't buffer that much in this run, do I? I mean, I guess every failed buffer is two, two start presses. Yeah, I guess return A buffer adds some too, yeah. So anyway, nice run. ADND next run, ADND this run. This is all dungeons, no doors. This is the all dungeons, no doors record. We don't open a door in this run. Do the slidey gates not count as doors? Doors are, if you press A when the A button says open, and it loads another room, that's a door. So yes, that includes the sliding up and down doors. And door time, yeah. Am I ending stream? I guess. I can definitely beat this run, but probably won't try today. Uh, yeah. I think I'll just stop here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.